Hi everyone, it's Elaine with Vintage Rose Thrifter. I'm happy to have you back. And if you um, have already subscribed, fantastic. And if you could like my video, that would be great too. It would help me. And um, I'm so happy to have the ones that have subscribed. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm having so much fun. I went out this week and I only wanted to get a few things um, for this haul for the week because I have quite a few to post. Um, but I found so many incredible things. One of them, oh, and so wait a minute, I always forget my spiel. <laughs> I'm, with, I'm on Poshmark. My Poshmark closet is uh, Vintage Rose Thrifter. So that's where you could find me. And um, I do have a couple things on eBay, but really all my things are on Poshmark. That's where you'll find them. So this is the jean jacket that I found. It's vintage. I love it. Look at all of the workmanship on it. I don't think there's anything in the back. No. Let's see. No. Okay. But look at the sleeves. There's a little slit. It's brand new by Pamela McCoy. I love it. I really want to keep it. Wear it with my boots or something. I think it's adorable. Horrible, but I'm not going to keep it. I, I do love it, though. Let me tell you what size it is. It is a size medium. Here's the tag. Pamela McCoy. I absolutely just love it. It's beautiful. Um, and by the way, I always have on a black shirt because I always play pickleball every day. And so I have about 10 of these black shirts. So don't think I don't ever change my clothes because... I do. They're clean. But I just, when I play pickleball, I just like to be in black. I don't know. Black is like, I feel it's slimming and I don't want to wear colorful things when I play pickleball. <laughs> but anyway, so this is a clean shirt. Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. What should I start with? Um, maybe I'll just start with the clothing I found. I found this child sweater. It's 100% wool. Check the buttons out. They're incredible. It's from Norway, and it's called Figjo, F-I-G-G-J-O. It's pure new wool. It's perfect condition. It's a child sweater. Um, let's see the sizing on it. Uh, I don't know what the sizing is, but I will do measurements when I post this in my closet. But how cute is this? Oh, my gosh. I mean, I don't know. I have to save it from the landfill. I don't want anyone to throw that away. It's beautiful. Look at this Pink Floyd. Oh boy, that reminds me of high school. <laughs> Pink Floyd, the other side of the moon or, or the dark side of the moon? The dark side of the moon. I think that's what my album was. Um, this is not vintage, but I guess they had a concert or something. Pink Floyd, wish you were here. This is the back kind of tie-dye. This is the tag and it's extra large. Brought back a lot of memories. That one did. That I, I like to find tees, t-shirts. And this one is American, American Fighter. I like the color of it. It's kind of like uh, black and like a burgundy color. And the back is really cool. Check it out. I love this. It's a great shirt. Oh, what I paid for this. Okay, it was half price day at Salvation Army. At least in my area, it is. And so this one, I think, was $2.99. The wool sweater, that wool sweater was $3. I mean, $3? Are you kidding? That's a really good price. Now, this was $7. It would have been $14. I never would have paid $14 for this one. Just a little too high. But at $7, yeah, I definitely. Look at the applique. Definitely would buy that. Um, let me see. What's the next one? Oh, this one I like. I like the feel of it. Really soft. It's called uh, Vintage Gearheads. It's not vintage, but, and I, I just like the material. I like anything with skulls. I don't know why. I like Halloween. And it's for, it's, um, shirts happen. Oh, and the size is, oh, oh, I can't read it. <laughs> I think it's it's big. I think it's like 2XL, something like that. I'll I'll make sure I put it in my um closet. These I have not posted yet. And again, this one was about uh two dollars. All right, and then Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I love this tea. 
thought it was really cute. It's from Fruit of the Loom, and it is a size large. Here you go. Let's see. Fruit of the Loom, large. Nothing on the back. Two nine two dollars for this one too. Today I found this at a church thrift shop, and I love this shirt. It's a man's button up shirt. It's a button up. It's called a button up if there's no buttons right here on the collar. If there's buttons on the collar, it's called a button down. I just learned that. <laughs> I didn't know it. <laughs> anyway, I like this shirt. It has a, a, you know, I think it would look great on a guy with jeans or something. I like the buttons. On It looks like an anchor on it. And, and it's very vintage. It's by um, Creighton. Creighton. And it's a size 16 and a half uh, dash 35, made in the USA. That's a clue that it is definitely vintage. Um, but I love it. I really like this shirt. All black. I like guys in a black shirt. I love it. Okay. Now, and then I bought some hard goods. And um, so you could tell I buy a little bit of everything. I buy clothing. I buy home goods. I buy purses and belts. Um, and I'm really a long, how do they say it? A long haul, uh, no, a long, how do they say it? When you, when you are going to hold things for a long time, I don't, I don't care if my things sit in my shop for a long time. It doesn't matter to me. Um, because I think I have them priced pretty fair and, uh, look at this canvas, um, painting. It looks like it's probably acrylic. Look at the, um, giraffe it's so colorful and it's kind of like you could feel it I don't know if you could see like the 3d um I just think for a child's room or something like that it would be really cool this is the back here's the side it's a little bit folded over like that how cute is that there's the artist's name although I cannot read it but I just think this is so cute. I couldn't leave this behind either. It was in such good condition. Um, and then I found this. Do you like espresso? I love espresso. And I have this exact one, but in smaller size. I actually want to keep this one, but I'm not. Because mine is much tinier. Uh, this is a Bialetti Mocha Express Made in Italy. And everything works because I ran through just regular water and it did work. The gasket worked. The um, uh, the rubber, oh, what do you call that? The rubber, not the gasket. Oh my gosh, my brain. I'm telling you, can't think of it. <laughs> Maybe that was it, the rubber gasket. Oh, this is called something else. This is not a uh, gasket. I don't think. Oh gosh. I don't know. Now I'm all confused. Whatever it is, it all worked and it pushed the pressure up and it came out perfectly. Look how pretty this is. It came out really fast. It works perfect. It's just fine. All the pieces are here and it's adorable. This, I think it's not adorable. An espresso maker is not adorable. I just, it's very nice. It's a nice espresso maker. There you go. All right. Now I think I paid how much? How much for this one? Um, mm, uh, choo -choo -choo, where is it? Shoot, I don't see it on here. Probably was about $4, something like that. Not bad. Um, and then this, oh, I couldn't leave this behind. It's in perfect condition. It's from, oh, I don't want to. Okay, it's from Blue Sky. I don't know if you could see that. And it's a piece, sculpture, clay art sculpture with the earth and the doves dangling down it's a tribute to um 9-11 um the artist oh gosh hold on the artist's name is right here it's kind of hard to show you with the date i think her name is heather something heather gold gold mink yeah she made these it's a candlestick holder it's in perfect condition. Now this I did pay up for, I think I paid, um, oh my gosh, where is everything? I think I paid about $14 for this, but I, I had to, I just had to. It's just gorgeous. Look at the workmanship. Everything is perfect on it. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's so nice. Um, I definitely did not want to leave that behind. 
The other thing I found, and I learned this from, I believe it was from Lavender Closet, Karen. She said whenever she sees a Baldwin deadbolt like this, she will pick them up if all the pieces are in here. And, and this looks to be that way. And it is like the bronze, polished bronze or oiled bronze, I believe is what it's called. Uh, Venetian bronze finish. Okay, oops, it looks like this deadbolt and the keys are in it instructions are in it everything so it's a great buy i think i picked this up for i must be looking at the wrong no this is the one Come on, i can't find anything i can find nothing on here i don't know oh wait no cheapers i must uh, i think i forgot to put certain things down i think this was about five dollars and I don't know when I'm going to put it on. I have to research it. Um, I am just really not doing well today because I'm very confused with everything. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. These are so cute. This was someone's collection. This is Jackie Kennedy. And this is as a bride, obviously. Look at this. And it's from Hamilton uh, Collection. And it's numbered. And I picked these up for $5. I loved it. And I have another one. This one's very pretty. Again, $5, Michelle Obama. Look at how gorgeous. Now, she's got a little bit of uh, chipping, a little bit, but you could touch that up. You know what I mean? And I think her little lipstick, a little mark on her lipstick, but that's so fixable. You could fix that. Michelle Obama. I'm not going to fix it, but you can, whoever buys it with the veil. Look at the flat, the roses. This one here is beautiful. The earrings. Oh, I love it. Again, this was $5 I paid. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Hers, I know, was kind of up there in price. Um, so I don't really know what I'm going to price it at yet. I have to do a little more research. Um, then don't ever be afraid to pick up the CVS items. This one is like uh, um, Bolo. Be on the lookout. Uh, it's a CVS Santa. He's writing his list. Makes music. It's really cute. I could take it out real fast. What? How many minutes am I on already? Eleven. Okay. Let me see. I could show you. It definitely works. Um, the only thing, well, it it makes music, but the arms don't move, and I think it's supposed to. But you just push the button here. <laughs> Very cute. Let me see. Oh, I don't think it shuts off. Oh, no. <laughs> we have to listen to the music for a minute. But anyway. <laughs> Sorry. It does work. This is just a mess of a video. <laughs> okay. So that works. And I think I paid like $4 for that. Um, then I found this really cool goblet. It's made out of resin, pirate. I wish I found two, but I only did find one. And then it's got the metal, fun for wine. <laughs> and look at the ship in the back if you're having a par pirate party. I wish I found more, but I just couldn't leave this one behind either. I think it's so cool. This I found for... How much? <laughs> Uh, I think it was about $3. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, the other things I found were these cute little chicks. These are vintage. They're so cute. Easter's coming, right? Before you know it. But look at the yellow glass eyes. Aren't they adorable? No chips on them. They're from Sigma. Sigma. The, oh, the what? Taste Teeter? That, I can't read it, but Sigma. Yeah. Okay. So look how cute they are, though. Oh, my gosh. I love the eyes. The glass eyes are adorable. For, oh, sorry. <laughs> For your Easter table, it would look cute. Or if you have a farm, house, kitchen, that would just be adorable. And these I got for $1.99 each. I know that because I remember. Okay. Here's another be on the lookout. If you find anything like this, Budweiser. Um, it's with the Clyde, Clydesdale horses. Look at that. And it says the season's best. There you go. Perfect condition. The 
um, gold on it is just right, 1991. It's definitely um, sought after. This one I think goes pretty high and I think I paid $4 for this one. Really cute. Um, oh, and then this, today I found this at the church. It's, it's actually Bakelite, which is very cool. Um, it's a brush and a mirror, very vintage. I don't know actually how old this is. The brush is in not bad condition, actually. There are a few scratches on it, obviously, because it is old. Um, no, oops, the mirror. Look at that. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. So big light. And this I did pay a little more for. I paid $10 for this, but I think for big light, that was a really um, good price for that. So look, be on the lookout for that. Here's another thing I found that's vintage and it's very, um, oops, I paid $2.99 for it because the price is on here. People like these. They're the Wilton cake pans. Look at this. The Hulk. It's the WW, I guess the fighters, the World Wrestling Federation. Um, the big boss man, macho man, Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't it cool? It's in really good condition, too. And here's the instructions. $19.92. I paid $2.99 for it. And I think I'll, if you can get a good amount for this. Because people are um, looking for this kind of thing. They like this. Oops. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, and then I found this adorable purse today at the church. It's a black purse. Look at, I love the handle on it. Look how it's kind of twisted, gold. And it has the little flip top, like, I mean, snap like that. And it's Andy, A-N-D-E, definitely vintage. Anyway, I think it's so cute. It has one little mark on it. Like, oh yeah, can you see like a little, but it's really not noticeable. I mean, it's a beautiful mid-century modern purse, right? So cute. This, I paid uh, $3 for this. $3 for that. Okay. Then, I don't know if I showed you this last time, the Kurt Busch, his number's 97, ha cap, with, he does, he did sign that, um, and it's very cool, adjustable back, this, I think I paid $2.99 for. I found this at Goodwill. Oh, and in the back, it has his name embroiders on, embroidered on the back. I love that. Um, and then I have these. Oh my gosh, they're gorgeous. All right. I can't believe someone had these. They're all the seasons. Um, and they're in perfect, pristine condition. Like, there's not one chip, nothing. Um, and it's from, oh gosh, what's his name? something. <laughs> I can't even pronounce it because it's written in script and I didn't write it down. This is the autumn sculpture, but I will have it in my description for my closet. Lansky or something? I don't know. I can't remember, but I will totally write that. But here's the autumn one. Look at the workmanship on this, the face. I'm so afraid I'm going to drop them. I want to be so careful. Um, Okay, and then this one is the summer, the summer one with, wait, no, 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 no. Oh yeah, it's summer, yeah, yeah. With the corn, look at that, how beautiful. Oh my gosh. I don't know who had these, but whoever did kept them in pristine condition. Okay, and then this one, spring. I wish I could read the name. Limited edition. Anyway, spring, she's holding a little flower. I don't know. And they must have been in a cabinet, like never touched. Because they're perfect. And one more. It's the winter one. Wait a minute. Okay. Look at that. How pretty is that? The snow. We haven't had any snow in Maryland. I kind of want some. Look at her face. It's beautiful, right? I love it. Um, and then I found these shells, which I never leave them behind. 
These are so gorgeous. They're beautiful. I love them. So I have these in my um, closet. This one has a bit of the, a pink. I don't know if you could tell. I don't think you really can. Uh, this one is all white. And you could see all the sand in there. I mean, I just didn't do anything with it. But it's pretty cool. I love these. They look gorgeous. If you have a beach house or something like that. These would be perfect. Um, trying to think, what else do I have? Oh no, I have a lot more. Wait a minute. <laughs> I knew it. Look at this leather purse. Oh my gosh. I think this is the best find ever. I love this. How does it go? Wait. <laughs> it's called Trinity Ranch Leather. I like the little bit of fringe or the tassel. And it's a conceal carry. You put, you could put your, um, weapon in here right there i mean it is so cool i love it the only bit of wear it has is on the t when you take the magnet it has a little bit of wear other than that no wear at all let me see i'll unzip it for you i just i love this purse it's beautifully made Really beautiful. Has some pockets here, one here, a little bit bigger one that zippers. Um, but look at it. It is a really cool. I kind of want to keep this too. <laughs> I love it. It's just so adorable. I think I paid about ten dollars for this. So I paid maybe a little more, maybe twelve. Paid up for this, but I think it was worth it because they go for a good amount. Um, oh gosh. Okay. Fisher Price. If you find Fisher Price, they usually sell pretty well. Um, people like them. And this one, of course, is animated. Oh, okay. It definitely works. <laughs> and, um, it's adorable. The battery pack is in here and, um, it's just, here you go. It shows you Fisher Price. Really cute for babies. I, I'm learning a lot about plush from uh, the woman that's on YouTube. She's called Bolo Buddies. So if you look up her on YouTube, you will learn a lot if you're a reseller. Or even if you're not, um, you, you'll learn a lot. And it's fun to watch her. Uh, Hello Kitty just, I whenever I have Hello Kitty anything, it flies out of my closet. Um, people love Hello Kitty. So cute. So this is just a little storage box. The little snaps here. Really cute. I love it. It's adorable. I paid about $3 for that. Um, and this is Cabby. It's a belt. A black leather belt with the perforated design of it is really nice. And it's in really perfect condition with the brass buckle. There you go. I love it. And it's size medium. Oh, now where does it show it? Here it is. This is really hard to see though, but maybe you can see it. Cabbie medium. I love it. I love it. I love it. I wish it would fit me. Oh, and this is another thing to look for. They're called singamalings, I think. <laughs> look at this. I found this thing. <laughs> I pick up weird things, but they're, it's so fun. Okay, so this thing makes noise. Okay, it sings. Hold on. Oh, <laughs> it has teeth. Isn't that funny? Now, if you have other ones, they come with other um, little creatures like this. And when they're near each other, they will harmonize and sing together. It's 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 crazy. Um, I don't know if... Uh, nothing with the feet, but I think you just hit the belly. I think it's so funny. Sing them a links. Wait, sing them a links. Yeah. And ah. these are on, be on the lookout for these. What year is this? I can't remember. Um, 2016. Anyway, if you find these, you should at least research them or pick them up. They're a lot of fun. And then this one, it's just anytime I find dollhouse furniture, I if they're in good condition, I try to pick it up. And I like this one. Look at it. It's so cute. Look at this little couch. It's 
it's really it's got hearts on it some cats i don't know if you could see some children really cute there is a little um like glue right there you could see it on the other side too a little bit and then the legs look at that six wooden legs on the bottom so cute for a dollhouse it's adorable i love it this i picked up for about three dollars too i don't know what i'm gonna price it at yet now let me think is that it is that all that i have i guess that's all i have for now so i had a great time with all these fantastic finds and a lot of it is in my shop already in my closet so you'll find it and i'll put a um in the description below i will put all my links to poshmark um instagram facebook so you can see whatever uh you'd like there i'm on tiktok too my daughter taught me how to do it so i'm on i do little tiktok reels i think they're called I do those. Oops, I can't talk right now. Oops. Okay. Anyway, so I'm going to finish up tonight. Thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed my finds. I'm sorry I stumbled a lot tonight. Oh, well. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you soon. Have a great weekend. Take care. Bye.